And then while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and trim her little bell bottom. Now, what I do is I just let the hair fall and I trim around the foot. But if you're creative or if the matting, you know, is getting bad on the feet, you can scissor up as short as you like. You can make little boots. You can, you know, make them little pom-poms like a poodle. You can do anything you want. It's really cute. But, you know, just depending on how much hair the owner prefers. Some people like the feet tidy because, you know, they get wet or get things stuck in their fur. But with Bella here, we like them full. I've just picked up the foot and I'm going to comb all this hair down. And I'm just going to trim flat with the foot. I'm not going to curve my shears up like this. I'm staying on a level plane with the foot. Because if I was going to tip my shears up and cut, it would make it a little too short once I set the foot down. And we want these just to kind of skim the floor. And so now when I set it down, it just flares out. We're going to go ahead and tidy it up a little bit more. So I just take this comb and I comb everything down and out. And I find her toe, which is right here. You can use your shears. And I'm just going to slide this, bl this scissor blade in almost right to the toenail and clean up the front of the foot. And I use this line to make my little round shape. Same thing, I'm going to slide this shear in and I'm going to lean it out like this. So we're just making like a beveled edge. So we're just cutting the hair underneath to give it a little bit of a, a flare. So this is very similar to um, what you might do on like a, a pet cocker or something. You want it a little bit tighter at the bottom of the foot coming out.